I'd like to thank the leadership in our state that have come out to help. I appreciate everyone. But what I want to say is that because of some things that are being put out, I feel like Jamal died yesterday. We were at a point where our hearts were content that Jamal was in heaven. But we have people now saying and doing things that they should not be doing because they're not aware of the situation. I'm gonna tell you about my son, Jamal. Jamal was the second of our three kids. He was a man of God. We had somebody, a cousin of mine go in his room and she goes, why he has so many religious books? Because he wanted to learn about God. Mental illness does not give anybody the right to put their hands on my child. That's my child. I love my child. His brother and his fathers, they love Jamal. Jamal was good. I had 16 surgeries. Jamal never left my side. Even when he was going to the mental hospital, he wanted to make sure that his mom was all right. And I asked God to please, please have mercy on some of these people that are doing things that aren't right for a family that's grieving. Jamal's body is not an invitation for a circus. When you do these takes, remember, he is a human being. He's not an animal. He was treated like one, but that's not who Jamal was. Jamal gave away everything he had. He would do anything for people. Jamal was a great, great, great son. He loved his father, and he told his father how much he loved him. He has two brothers. He loved his brothers. Jamal would give you the clothes off of his back because that's how I trained all of my children. Jamal was an example of what I wanted him to be. He died, and when he was being tased, pepper sprayed, he's hollering, hallelujah. If you don't hear what the tape is saying, my son's saying, hallelujah. They're handcuffing my son. He's hollering, hallelujah. How many men you know hollering hallelujah when they're going to jail. Jamal had enough sense to say, you didn't read me my rights. He may have been mentally ill, but he was brilliant. Jamal made music and gave it away. Jamal was an example of what we should want all our young men to be, black, white, purple, or green. I'm not gonna stand before anybody and say anything that I don't know for sure, and I ask you to do the same. Respect my family. Know that hurt has not gone away. It's still in us. We waited patiently. We waited for the tape to be released. People are saying that we didn't want to speak. I wanted to speak the day he died. But I can tell you something I didn't know. I did not know. Now that I know, Now did I know how my baby died, I'm proud of him. Mentally ill, still able to say, thank you, Jesus, take care of me. I want y'all to know, Jamal was a great man. He had faults like everybody else, but he was a great man. And I just want you to know that. If I could bring him back, I'd leave. I would leave this earth for Jamal to come back to me. I cried so many days, come back. He's not coming back. And I'm content that God has Jamal in his arms. So please, don't make a circus of my baby's death. I don't need people out here reading lies. I don't need that. You destroy families when you do that. If you don't know, you are destroying the inside of us. You don't know him, but you're telling somebody else about it. Please keep your conversations to what you know. I don't want any violence in my city. I want us to view this tape and I want us to learn what we don't want happening again. I ask no violence. White, purple, green. 
We have black men being killed every day. I mean every day. I didn't want to watch it and Jamal didn't watch it because it hurt our soul. Please no more hurt from media parties because they don't know him. And if you don't know him, please don't speak of him because he was a great man. That was a great man. And I'm gonna leave you with that. Jamal Sutherland was a great man. And there are some people that know they need to do things and they're not doing it. So I ask those of you who knew your part in my son's murder to do the right thing. Please do the right thing. Thank you.